Boys and girls, put your hands together for Wangari the Storyteller. Hello everybody, my name is Wangari the Storyteller and we are right here at the textbook center. And you know what that means, don't you? Yes, it is story time. Today, we will be reading from another book. And can you read with me the title? Yes, the book is No Party for Hyena. Hmm. I wonder why there's no party for hyena. Well, why don't you join me and we will find out together. A long time ago, Lion was the king of all animals. He was a good king and the animals loved him. They called him King Lion. They brought him many gifts. And one day, King Lion heard that the tortoise was ill. Tortoise was the oldest animal in the jungle. He was also King Lion's friend. So, King Lion wanted to go and visit Tortoise. He asked Squirrel to go with him. Oh, Squirrel was very happy. And you can see Squirrel and King Lion having a conversation. Squirrel took his bag. Then he left King Lion's house. He wanted to go home. He needed to prepare for the journey. Squirrel had gone on many trips with King Lion and he knew his family would be happy to hear the good news. He knew that Hyena would not be happy to hear the news. Hyena was jealous. When the day of the journey came, King Lion and the squirrel left very early. They followed a path through the bush. Squirrel did not fear the other animals. All the animals feared King Lion. They also respected him very much and no one could harm Squirrel when King Lion was around. Hyena followed them closely. He did not want to be seen. Squirrel goes on trips with the king. Why can't the king ask me to go with him? Hyena wondered. And here you can see the squirrel and King Lion setting on their journey and hiding behind them, following is the hyena. Squirrel wanted to please the king. On the way, he picked some berries and other fruits for him. The king was very happy. Thank you very much for the berries. Thank you very much for the berries, King Lion said to Squirrel. You're welcome, said Squirrel. Hyena did not like what he saw. He was jealous when he saw the king eating berries. He was jealous when he heard the king saying, thank you. The king is very happy with Squirrel. Now what shall I do? Hyena wondered. He felt that he had to do something. The king and Squirrel were becoming greater friends every day. Hmm. And you can see them, Squirrel, picking some berries for the king. And over here you can see the hyena wondering, <coughs> what do I do? After a long walk, Squirrel and King Lion came to a river. They were very tired. They were also hungry and thirsty. We cannot go to the river together. Let me go and drink water as you watch over our bags, King Lion said. And he walked to the river to drink some water. King Lion took a long time to come back. Squirrel was very tired. He felt his knees grow weak. He sat on the rock. And within no time, he was <coughs> fast asleep. Hyena was still following them. He came, cr he came closer and saw that Squirrel was asleep. Hello, my friend. Hyena 
whispered. Then he started laughing. <laughs> Squirrel woke up when he heard Hyena laughing. What are you doing here? Squirrel asked. I was just walking around. <laughs> you are hungry and tired, aren't you? Hyena asked. Of course I'm very tired and hungry. We have walked a long distance. Now, why did you wake me up? Squirrel asked. He was very angry. He did not want King Lion to find Hyena there. The king would not be happy. <laughs> I can offer you something to eat, Hyena said. Hyena showed Squirrel some berries. Squirrel wanted to pick some, but Hyena stopped him. Eh, eh, not so fast, Squirrel. <laughs> I will give you the berries only if you sing for me. You must also dance for me. <laughs> Hyena said. Ah, Squirrel started to dance. And you can see Squirrel dancing so that he could get some berries. And the hyena watching over the bugs. Hmm. I wonder what he has in mind. Squirrel sang and danced. He liked singing very much. He danced and danced. He sang with his eyes closed. As Squirrel danced, hyena took the king's bag. Carefully, he took the king's ring from the bag. He quickly hid the ring in his pocket. Then he continued to watch as Squirrel danced. Hmm, you are a good dancer. <laughs> you can stop dancing now. Here, here are the berries. Heine said, and then he left in a hurry. Oh, thank you, Squirrel said. But do you know how many berries? Hyena had given the squirrel two, just two. <laughs> when squirrel saw that there were only two berries, he began to cry. The lizard came to help. Do, 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 do not cry. L let me tell you something. I, I, I saw Hyena, lizard said. Go away, go away. Squirrel shouted at lizard. Lizard ran away. And you see here the squirrel and the lizard. King Lion came back from the river. He brought more berries. Oh, squirrel was happy to see the berries. They would eat some and keep the rest for tortoise. And soon they were on their way again. They arrived at tortoise's home in the evening. Tortoise was in his flower garden. Tortoise saw the visitors and came to meet them. Ah, oh, how are you? We are quite well, said King Lion. Thank you for coming. And as you can see, I am better now, said Tortoise. Tortoise welcomed the visitors and they gave him many presents. Squirrel and the King Lion stayed at Tortoise's house and left after three days. When they got back home, King Lion began looking for his ring. Squirrel, where is my ring? He asked. I don't know, Squirrel answered. The king was very angry. He called all the animals to his house. Do you know what happened to the ring? The hyena had stolen it, but the king thought it was the squirrel. So he asked the other animals, what shall we do with the squirrel? He is the only one who carries my bag. He must tell us where the ring is. The hyena was there and he said, squirrel should be punished. <laughs> he is the only one who carries the king's bag. Squirrel is not a good friend. Hmm. Squirrel should never come to your house again, <laughs> Heine said. And as the animals were talking, as the animals were talking, Lizard entered the house. I'm sorry for coming late, Lizard said. 
and the king told lizard what the king told lizard what had happened do you remember that when they were on the journey the lizard had wanted to tell squirrel something mm -hmm. squirrel is 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 not not not, not a thief lizard said well and you can see here the lizard talking to the king and the hyena over here saying, oh, he should be punished. And we have the squirrel over here. I, I, I saw a hyena st st stealing the, the ring, said lizard. King Lion was very angry. Do you have my ring? He asked the hyena. Yes, he, he, I, I'm sorry, King Lion, hyena said. And he gave back the ring to the king. The other animals sent Hyena away. He was not a friend. They did not want him to live with the other animals. Hyena went away. He was very sad. And even today, when he sees other animals, he runs away from them. Well, that is the end of our story today. I hope you enjoyed our story time. Until next time, have a good time. <laughs>